If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So next you can see that this is the home page of the Swiggy website. Here you can see the nav bar as like this way. So next I am going to do is, I am going to create a new component in the components folder that is navbar navbar.tsx and in the navbar i'm going to give as navbar as like this way and i'm going to call this navbar component in the app component after commenting this welcome component as like this way so now you can see that here is the navbar okay fine so next i'm going to do is i'm going to import this image into this images folder as like this way so after that i'm going to do is to import this image into this navbar component that is import logo from images slash logo dot png and i'm going to use that in the source attribute of this image tag as like this way next i'm going to give a class name for this image tag and in the class name i'm going to give the width and height so now you can see that here is the logo of swiggy okay so next i'm going to do is i'm going to use the image tag and here i'm going to give another image so for that i'm going to import this lens image or lens icon into this images folder after that i am going to import this icon into this navbar component as like this way after that i am going to use that in the source attribute the next i am going to give the class name in the class name i am going to give the width and height so here you can see the lens icon so next i am going to do is to use the h1 tag and in the h1 tag i am going to give as search and i am going to give the class name for this main div and in the class name i am going to give as flex item center and in the h1 tag i am going to give the class name for giving the style that is margin left and here i am going to change this width and height of this lens after that i am going to import this profile icon Next, I am going to import that profile icon into this navbar component that is profile from images slash profile dot png. After that, I am going to do is to use another image tag and in the source attribute, I am going to use this profile image or profile icon. Next, I am going to give the class name here. In the class name, I am going to give the width and height. So now you can see that here is the structure of the navbar. So after that, I am going to do is I'm going to give here an h1 tag. In the h1 tag, I'm going to give as sign in. Here I'm going to give the class name that is margin left. Next, I'm going to do is to give another h1 tag. In the h1 tag, I'm going to give as like this way. After that, I'm going to give as location in another h1 tag. Here in the class name, I'm going to give as bold for about bold text size then next underline here i am going to give the class name for giving the text size and also the margin left okay so now you can see that this is a structure okay fine after that i am going to do is to give import this image of arrow into this images folder the next i'm going to import that image into this navbar component as like this way okay the next i'm going to do is i'm going to use the image tag here in the source attribute i'm going to give that image that is arrow next i'm going to give the class name for giving the style that is width and height okay fine so here you can see that this is a structure i'm going to give the padding also the next here i am going to give the margin left okay fine after that i am going to give a margin left for this lens icon 
and here also i am going to give the margin left for this profile icon okay fine after that i am going to give the shadow for about large the next i am going to give i am going to change the padding again okay fine next here i am going to give the height as like this way okay here i have changed the size of this logo so after that i am going to do is to create a new component that is menu menu dot tsx here i am going to give as menu after that i am going to do is to create another component that is main and here i am going to call the navbar component as like this way below that i am going to call the menu component and i am going to call this main component in the app component as like this way okay fine so now you can see that here is the menu okay fine next i am going to do is here you can see that this is the structure of this menu so i am going to do is i am going to take the menu component and here i am going to use the image tag and in the image tag i am going to give the images so i am going to import these images into this images folder as like this way after that i am going to do is to import each image of food into this menu component as like this way okay so i have imported all the images of food into this menu component from the images folder after that i am going to use this image here in the source attribute and i am going to give as class name as like this way the width and the height okay fine so now you can see that here is the menu okay so next i am going to do is to give here as rounded for about full so this is the structure as of now after that i am going to do is i am going to give as h1 tag and in the h1 tag i am going to give the name of that menu okay next i am going to do is to give the class name for giving the font for about semi bold text color as gray and text size also the margin left okay fine then after that i am going to do is to use a div tag and i am going to put this image and h1 tag into that div tag as like this way then after that i am going to copy and paste this div tag the next i am going to do is here i am going to give the class name for this main div for giving the style that is flux item sender so here you can see the each menus as like this way the next i am going to do is i am going to give class name for this div that is margin left so i am going to copy and paste this class name for all other div as like this way okay fine so now this is the structure the next i am going to do is i am going to change this width and height of this each image so i am going to copy and paste this width and height to all other class names okay fine so after that i am going to do is i am going to give the each image to the source attribute as like this way the next i am going to do is to use a div tag here i am going to put this menu component inside this div tag and in the div tag i am going to give the class name in the class name i am going to give the style such as flex flex column justify sender and items to sender okay fine so at that time you can see that the menu is in the center next i am going to do is i am going to take the menu component and here 
I am going to change the margin left as like this way. Next, I am going to do is I am going to give here a margin top in the main div as like this way. The next thing I am going to do is to install the React Router DOM into our project. So in the new terminal, I am going to run the command npm install React Router DOM. So now you can see that the React Router DOM has been installed. So you can see that in the package.json as like this way. Okay, fine. So next thing I am going to do is I am going to take the index.tsx file. And in the index.tsx file, I am going to import or use the browser router component and I am going to wrap the app component using browser router as like this way. After that, I am going to take the app component. Here I am going to use the routes and router from React Router DOM. So here I am going to give the routes. Inside this routes, I am going to use the route component and the route component I am going to give as path props. In the path, I am going to give as slash. Next, I am going to use the element props. Into the element props, I am going to give the welcome component or I am going to call the welcome component as like this way. Then here, I am going to remove this main component. Next, I am going to do is to use another route component and in the route component, I am going to give as path. In the path, I am going to give as slash main. Next, I am going to give the element props. And in the element props, I am going to call the main component as like this way. So now you can see that this is the structure. Okay, fine. If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel.